Hello, I'm David Valdez, and today I wanted to show some examples of using the quadratic formula. And just to remind you, we have the standard form quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, from which we can derive the solutions using completing the square, for example. And I showed that in another video. And here are the solutions, x equals negative b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. How in the world would you memorize that stuff? You know, after a while, for some reason, you just can't forget it. But um, there are uh, several little uh, things to do. You can rem remember that with. Use a song or use a story. And uh, I'm sure you can find some fun stories browsing the internet. So um, here it is. I'm going to show you how to use it. Um, here's an example we could start with. 9x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals 0. However, I'm going to solve this first by factoring. This is a factorable problem. And then I'm going to do it using the quadratic formula um, just to show you that they were equivalent and to remind you that you can solve by factoring. Um, so let's do that first. And I'm going to use uh, what I call method number three to factor this. I'm essentially using the rational zeros theorem. Okay. So it's going to start like this. Multiply these two guys together, the 9 and the negative 2. That gives me negative 18. Now, what times what gives me negative 18? That also adds to give me positive 3. And it turns out that 6 times negative 3 will do it. That multiplies to give me negative 18, also adds to give me negative 3. Now, what I do with these two guys using the rational zeros theorem is the following. I can start by saying, OK, I've got x plus 6 over 9 times x minus 3 over 9. And all of that is equal to 0 over here. What I wrote down right here, these two binomials are not actually equal to this trinomial. Um, they would be under certain conditions. However, the solutions of this are exactly the solutions of the original trinomial. The 9 came from the leading coefficient. So um, please go ahead and review the factoring section that I've done on method number three to see what I'm doing here. I'm going to reduce these now <coughs> so that the factors become x plus uh, the factors for the solution, I should say, which are the same as the solutions to this original trinomial. Uh, the 6 over the 9, let's reduce both of those by 3. So that's a 2 and a 3. Over here, I'm going to reduce both of those by 3, so we get minus 1 third. That's equal to 0. And then by the zero factor principle, we can say that x plus 2 thirds equals 0 or x minus 1 thirds equals 0. And either way, or that is using both of those statements, I should say, we get the following solutions. x equal to two solutions. One of them is negative 2 thirds. The other one is positive 1 third. Okay. And we can see that. If you put a negative 2 thirds right here, this adds up and that factor becomes 0 times whatever this is is still 0. If I put in 1 third here, this factor is 0 times whatever that becomes still equals 0. So indeed, these are solutions to the equation. So let me show then uh, what this looks like using the quadratic formula. Same equation. Okay, so we're going to start with the 9x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals 0. Now, if you're going to use the quadratic formula, you have to make sure that this equation that you start with is exactly like the standard form quadratic equation, meaning there has to be a 0 on the other side. Okay. And then you can just label these guys a, b, and c for the numbers that you see up there. And if you don't see a number present that fits with the x squared or with the x or the constant term, um, you can still use the quadratic equation, though it may not always be appropriate or the best way, um, by calling it 0 as having a 0 coefficient. So right now, I'm going to say, OK, a is equal to 9, just matching it up. b is equal to 3, and c is equal to negative 2, this guy right there. Make sure you include the signs. Now, using the quadratic formula, I can say x is equal to negative b, so negative 3, plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac. 
and all of that is over to A. So the quadratic formula is really nice. For one, it solves any quadratic equation. For two, uh, you plug all the information into the solutions directly. Now you just have to be real careful that you simplify correctly. So let me continue from here. This gives me negative 3 plus or minus the root of 9. Negative 4 times 9 times negative 2. That's going to give me a positive overall, 72. All right, 2 times 9 is 18. Okay, let me continue this right here because I feel like I'm about to run out of space. This gives me negative 3 uh, plus or minus root 81 all over 18. The root of 81 comes out nice. This gives us negative 3 plus or minus 9 over 18. And at this point, I'm just going to say this equals two things. One of them is negative 3 plus 9 all over 18. The other one is negative 3 minus 9 all over 18. Let's see how these come out. The top one, negative 3 plus 9, is 6 over 18. And that reduces both by 6 to 1 third on the bottom. Negative 3 minus 9 is negative 12 over 18, reduce both the top and the bottom by 6, and that gives me negative 2 thirds. And there are the two solutions I ended up with from the quadratic formula. And are they the same? Negative 2 thirds, 1 third, indeed they are. All right. So uh, let me show you more examples in the next video of using the quadratic formula.